this video we're going to take a look at a common problem that many beginners come across which is it being able to see when playing lead how it connects to a chord shape and now this lesson is being made for michael who takes skype guitar lessons with me it's a problem that he's come across and i did myself when learning to play the guitar like in the introduction there of johnny b good used to view it all as individual notes from a scale not from the chord that was being worked with so we're going to take a close-up of the neck and look at a few examples of how seeing where the chord comes in playing off the chord and how it can make uh, your life a lot lot easier so let's have a close-up of the guitar neck so in the case of johnny b good it is actually based on a b flat chord now if you look at the guitar tab, the way when I was a kid I used to read this was as all as individual notes. Now if you view it as being played off the B flat chord, obviously you've got that slide in, but if we have and then even into the is all based on the B flat. And being able to recognize that, it's gonna make things a lot easier because you can see where it's from. And even as the rhythm starts, based on the B flat. So that's where the melodies come from. The phrasing sometimes, if you're reading guitar tab, can almost disguise the fact that it is actually playing off a chord. Now in the case of uh, Michael who's taken lessons, he was working on Up Around the Bend by Creedence Clearwater Revival, uh, which we have. And what ends up happening is sometimes we can be playing it as... seems an awful lot to try to remember because we're viewing it all as individual notes again because of the slide in we think of it as individual notes but if we ignored the slide in and just played that partial D chord which is it comes from we hit the open D and just pick the same on the A, partial A chord, bottom A string, back to D. So my advice would be if you were a beginner is to learn to be able to go and then as you progress maybe add the And we have a lot of examples, again with Credence, if you think of Fortunate Son. We can be viewing that as individual notes, but it's coming from hold an A chord down, G chord, D chord, which is actually coming from here as well, because bending into the C sharp, open A. So, We've got, but that's where the notes are coming from. One more example of that, without labouring the point, is something like Sultans of Swing. Again, because of the phrasing, the... Because I used to play it when I first learned it from guitar tab years ago. If we hold a D minor chord down and we ignore that phrasing, it's playing off that D minor chord. So look for examples of that and that should be able to help you. So as always, thank you for watching and I hope that helps make your life easier.